should you pronate or focus on pronating on your kick serve or your topspin serve? That is the age old question that I get so often over the years about pronation for the topspin serve or the kick serve. Well, I'm going to answer that question today in today's video lesson and tell you exactly what you need to do on your kick serve. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. We are passionate about helping millions of players all over the world get to the next level, accelerate their learning so that you have more fun on the court and you just win more. And we're all about getting you the right information and today we're going to talk about pronation. And this is a funny one because people seem to be obsessed with pronation and guess what? I'm not. I don't care about pronation. Now, I will clarify that in a moment, but people and players are getting so caught up on if they should pronate on the serve, especially the second serve or the topspin serve or the kick serve. And my answer to this question is if you're thinking about focusing on pronating on your second serve or your topspin serve or your kick serve, they're all in kind of the same bucket, you're probably focusing on the wrong things, okay? The wrong thing here. If you want to hit flat serves, then yes, I could say, all right, focus on pronation, all right? Focus on making the racket pronate like this, okay? Making the arm pronate like this. Now, technically, it's not really pronation because what's happening up here is this shoulder is rotating like this. And a lot of players don't have the ability to rotate their shoulders to pronate, and they don't have the ability to rotate their forearm either. Okay, and that's what players are struggling with. They have a physical limitation. Also, because the technique is off with the serve, it's pretty tough to pronate if the toss is out here. Okay, it's, toss, it's tough to pronate out here. You have to get your toss in the right, uh, right position. You have to get your body in the right position. If you're facing the net, if you're serving and you're facing the net at contact, it's hard to pronate. It's gonna actually hurt a little bit. You have to have the ability to side bend and be in this position to be able to rotate the shoulder and the forearm to get pronation. But let's go deeper with the topspin serve. Here's the thing with the topspin serve or the kick serve. If you wanna learn how to make that ball jump off the court, I would recommend that you actually move the grip from a continental a little bit more towards the backhand side. So if you do that, the racket face or the racket strings that are going to make contact with the ball are going to open up a little bit like this. So now look what happens if I try to hit a second serve and I hit the serve like that with that grip. It's pretty tough to pronate like this to hit big kickers, okay? Now, your serve may, when you, if you slow down the motion, if you go ahead and slow down your motion when you're hitting topspin, there might be some pronation happening right in here, but as soon as the racket goes there, it's gonna come back in this direction like this. And that's what I teach instead. I assume, and maybe this is a big assumption, but I assume that if you have a good stance, if you have a good shoulder turn and hip coil, if you get the toss in the right place, if you're in a good trophy position, if you finish the right way, you should get kick on your serve. You don't have to think about pronation. I, I've been playing this game for 40 years. I picked up a racket when I was five years old. I've never thought about pronation on a kick serve, ever. Never, not one time, okay? Only gonna focus on pronation when you wanna hit the flatter serves, okay? When you wanna get a little more power, when you wanna rotate like this. The second serve or the topspin serve, it's all about this. You get into your stance, I prefer a platform stance. Slide this foot back a little bit. You move your grip over a little bit towards backhand. You can hit it from a continental grip as well, but you're gonna get a little more spin if you move the grip this way. The racket face now is open. You know, Think of Djokovic or Rayonic when they serve. And you're gonna make sure that you, you toss and turn your body. You toss and turn and you go, you go over your head with the toss and then you finish on this side of the body. And here's the thing, a lot of players, they try to pronate and they finish this way with the racket. Finish with the strings facing towards you. It's like having a big beach ball right here at the end. Okay, so let me show you. 
Okay, I could have tossed that more to, uh, more to my right as a lefty over my body. <clears throat> There's the kick. So in order for it to kick, the toss goes this way and the racket goes this way. And you notice what I do with my wrist here. I'm in this position when I'm done. My, my wrist is limp. This is what we call the dirty diaper right here. My elbow is up and bent and my strings are facing. Pronation would look like this. Okay, so the difference is here's my kick serve. I'll get another one. There we go. So you see how the strings are facing me. And here's my flat serve. And now the strings are facing the other way. All right, so I hope I answered your question. Don't think about pronation on your topspin or kick serve. All right, of course, you're probably going to have comments or questions. Leave them down below. Share this video if it gave you value and you think someone else can get value out of this video. Of course, it's free, so let's just keep sharing this free wealth of tennis knowledge with players all over the world. That's what we want for you to get better. We want others to get better too. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn on your notifications to be updated on all the latest releases. And before you go, I've got a free gift for you. Free instructional tennis course. It's inside the Tennis Evolution app. It's like having me, your high performance tennis coach in your pocket, former top 100 pro, eager to help you get to the next level. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to get that free course inside the free Tennis Evolution app. We'll see you at the next lesson. Here's to happy kick serving, and we'll see you at the next one.